two, one. Hey, welcome to Bill and Franz Show. My name is Bill. I'm Franz. And we got a good show coming up, lots of talk, lots of fun. Stay tuned. Man, ooh. You see us all bundled up in here. We're bundled man. up. It's 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 December and we're still outside. And we're What's still up outside. There? Hey. Like we gotta <laughs> do some cold shows, I guess. But um man it, it's not I mean it's cool but it's not bad. No, no, no. no. It's saying. cool, it's cool. So what's up with you today, man? Oh, not too much. I mean, you know, I was think I was talking to my friend about, you know, like oftentimes I dread the winter and all that. I'm like, oh the season of death. Right. Um and you know what? I grew up in New England. I should be stronger than that. So if you dress appropriately, it indoors and out, it's not that big a deal. Just, just prepare and stop whining. Right. Absolutely. I'm from Texas. <laughs> it, I mean, it got cold. It get cold sometimes in El Paso, but you know, like the snow and it, it, it don't get real, real cold. But I live in the Midwest now, and yes, I do have long johns on. Sure do. All right. Sure do. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? All right, so the big deal is this week uh, a lot of people are concerned, including my buddy Matt, who showed up to a uh, band practice yesterday, all flustered about this. <clears throat> the National Defense Authorization Act. Okay, so far passed by the Senate, not yet the House or the White House. Um, and it essentially does what uh, a while ago there was a Patriot Act and things like that, which gave the President the right to declare any schmo out there in the world. Uh, um, a terrorist and therefore we could car incarcerate him or her indefinitely. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? The, the Senate's passing with the National Defense Authorization Act. The same thing. President can decide whoever he wants to be a terrorist, including you and me, as citizens of the United States of America. Well, so basically you're saying that I mean, do they have do they have to have any type of evidence, any type of um, anything? That, can they just say, oh, you're a terrorist? You know, I'm, I don't know all the specifics of it, I just read the headline, but okay. I'm thinking uh, if you did that, then they might as well um, use, I don't really know. I'm guessing, but the ta Patriot Act, the answer was no. Uh, and it didn't, the whole idea was that the Patriot Act was, you know, we can spy, basically we can spy on everyone we want, uh, based on just, if the president says so, then so it is. Okay. End of story. We don't need any sort of search warrant or anything like that. That's crazy, man. So the NDAA Act, well, the NDA Act, <laughs> um, basically can accuse anybody. I mean, well, I mean, it just sounds like it's, our country's headed in the wrong direction when it comes to privacy and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Man. People are pretty upset. Uh, um, a number of people are upset, um, as you would expect. Libertarians such as Ron Paul and his son Rand Paul. Okay. And uh, and of course you'd expect someone as righteous as Senator Feinstein to defend the rights of the people. I'm with them. Um, I'm with them. You know, and we have to be fair. You know, Ron Paul and uh, and his and his son Rand Paul are both Republicans, and they're, they're Republicans defending the rights of the individual, which you'd expect. And right. of course Senator Feinstein is a, Demo a raging Democrat, and she also supports people's rights. Um, and I, I don't understand how, considering that the Senate at the moment is do, um, dominated by the Democrats at this past, because I usually think the, the unreasonable things are right. done by the opposition, opposing party, to me I, personally. You know what, I guess that's why I'm an independent, because I think that there's some good things with the Republicans and the Democrats. We talked about this before, you know, that, but, but this whole National Defense Authorization Act, whack, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it doesn't make any sense, you know, and they can detain you. For as long as they want to detain you without any evidence, that I mean, it's crazy. Mm, yeah. It doesn't even doesn't it doesn't even sound American. Yeah. No trial. You don't have to. They don't even have to. Hold, you don't even have to have a trial. It's not American. This is not cool. I am with Ron Paul and his son um, and Rand. his son Rand Paul. I'm with them, and I'm with Senator Feinstein. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know you got what uh, Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham was all for it, of course. Senator says, well, Lindsey it's, Graham. It's uh, right, and he's in the Senate, which is one of the reasons it passed. Um, yeah, he was like, well, that's what we do. We defend our country. This is this is how we do it. Right, but do we defend our country while we lose our rights? Mm -hmm. I mean, what's the I mean, what's the thin line of defense and still preserving our rights as American citizens? What's the, what the heck is going on? Now, that's actually something that um, President or candidate Obama, as I like to say, back in 2008, he was like, he he said that same thing. You have to walk the line between defending the country 
and defending, you know, do you defend the country at the rights of, uh, at, at the expense of defending the rights of the individuals who live there? Right. Um, and we don't, and this, this, this pact, the uh, National Defense Authorization Act has not, as of our shooting today, Saturday, has not yet passed the House, and, and uh, Obama has threatened to veto it, whether he has the courage to or not, or maybe he won't need to because it might go down in the House, hopefully. Right. But it, we're, the, we're hoping that, please, 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 do, veto this. please veto it if it passes, because that will help your <clears throat> campaign as well as actually do the right thing. Sometimes right. those sometimes those two go together. Right. Veto that, Obama, because, you know, you know, <clears throat> we put you in office in 2008, and I say we because I was out there campaigning too, mm -hmm. okay? And, um... We just want you to do the right thing, stand up, you know what I'm saying? This is something you definitely need to stand up against, because this is not cool. Mm -hmm. I do not want to be sitting up in my house or us filming the Villain Fry show and somebody comes say, you know, <laughs> throws the hey, what the <laughs> hell? Do I, you know, do I fit the description? <laughs> I mean, what's going on? Are you are you criticizing the, uh, the Oval Office, the actions of the Oval Office? <laughs> you know, freedom <laughs> of speech. I mean, what's next? If this passes, what's Next! Foot Alone, Classic, Modern, Sexy. Okay, we're back. What's up? Yeah, yeah, okay. <clears throat> we're still talking about politics. We can't resist. Right. So the other thing that happened just just today was mm. Herman every, Cain. Everybody's buddy everybody's everybody's buddy. Herman Cain. He finally stepped down after all his embarrassments. That, right. CEO of Godfather. Just because you can run a business <laughs> don't mean you can run the country, brother. <laughs> must be the Godfather you know. of America. He might be the godfather of Pippin. <laughs> All these women coming out saying that you harassed him. Yeah. Now you had an affair. Are you the godfather of CEO Pizza? Are you the CEO of Godfather's Pizza? Or are you the CEO of Pimp? All of us. <laughs> <laughs> Who you pimping now? It's just so funny because he's like, all the people are accusing accusing him of this stuff. And he's like, oh, it's a conspiracy to, to right. keep my campaign down. And right. it's like, I think you kind of brought this on yourself, yourself. big guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Think with your head. Yeah. <laughs> head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This head. Yes, you know, think with this head, man. <laughs> um, all these women are not coming out against you. Everybody wrong. Everybody lying. Yeah. You know, now you got one who didn't come out and say that they, that she just had a simple harassment. She said y'all had a for real relationship for 13 years. Uh -huh. Kicking it. Mm -hmm. I just provided financial support. What else did you provide? Physical support too? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's going on. <laughs> it's really interesting when you think about uh, presidential candidates and people who want to run for president. You know, they always say the best the best guy for president is someone who doesn't want to be president. Right. So, which you know, which leads us to uh, uh, General, what's his name, who was in the White House and was pushed out of the White House. Colin Powell. Yeah, General Powell. General Powell. Um, and Secretary Powell. So he's a good example of a guy that would be a great president and, of course, can't doesn't want to be. That's a, that's the first indicator right. that he should be. Well, maybe not. But anyway, so but these guys that do run for president, like Herman Cain, and Michelle you know, Bachman, and also, John, I was. A big supporter of John uh, Edwards. Yeah, I like and, that. And it's like, you know, when you cover up a scandal like this, you, you're you're not just you know putting your family you know putting your family through stuff. Right. But if you get nominated, you're putting your entire party in jeopardy because right. how stupid can you be not to think it's going to come out? Right. Um, and so I mean, I I resented I mean the idea of like John going back to John Edwards. You know he. Uh, he was like sitting there cheating on his wife while she was, you know, getting treated Sick, for cancer. You know. And but it's like, how dare you try to get nominated? At the, because then it'll once went the the far for the closer you get, the more they're going to scrutinize. So right. you're ruining it for your. You would have potentially ruined it for your party had you been nominated. Pretty boy Edwards, man. That's what I call him. Mm -hmm. Pretty boy Edwards. Kind of remind me of JFK back in the day, but not as classy. I don't know. I ain't gonna say classic because John Edwards was a cool dude. He was, but um, he just didn't have that same demeanor or yeah. qua 
I went full. I went. I went full circle with uh, John Edwards when I lived in North Carolina. Was when he sort of became famous, or to me anyway. And I was like, oh, he's just a styrofoam cap kind of, you know. Hey, hop off the train and shake hands and be pretty boy. And I, I thought he was totally bogus. Right. And then, over time, I was like, okay, he talks a good talk and he seems to follow through on what he does. And right. he's actually, and when he was running in 2008, his campaign, yeah. he was actually more populist than you know Obama yeah and um, and I thought he was the best candidate at the time and then so I was like okay full I went full circle yeah meaning then when I found out oh he's been cheating this whole time and lying to us right not right. just the country but the members of the party I was like that's really low I mean right. you, I mean because it would have come out and you would have lost right you would have definitely lost you know it's, it's really funny because these guys that are running they, they want to be president of the United States um, it's funny when you look at these characters, <clears throat> they want to hold a lot of people to higher standards and their standards are not them, that high for themselves. Right and then I look at the country itself, we hold people high to high standards that we don't hold to ourselves. John Ever was just a regular man who was cheating. How many men are out here cheating? You know what I'm saying? But he cheated when his wife was sick. But how many men are actually really doing that? How many women are actually cheating on their husbands that are really sick? Right. This, is, this is not nothing new. It's just that we hold people to these things. And I guess if you're running for the President of the United States, you should go ahead and open up that, right. that, that, that closet, let the skeletons fall on out, <laughs> so that um, nobody has nothing to say or talk about. Yeah, that's what they always do. They always get themselves in people, uh, Bill Clinton, same thing. You don't get in trouble for uh, the thing you did. You get in trouble for lying about, about it. Right. Anthony Weiner. That wasn't me. Oops. Anybody can look at you, Mr. Weiner, and see that's your <laughs> chest. It's on your head. And your name's Weiner. Weiner. Come on. See, you know, so <laughs> some things, like even Herman Cain. Man, come on. You didn't think this stuff was going to come out and you're running for the highest yeah. office in the country. You should have just came straight out and said, hey, I had some whole wish ways. <laughs> Back in the day, you know, I did some things. Um, I like women, <laughs> and I like them a lot. <laughs> and you know, maybe you would still have a chance at this. But hey, you shot your own self in the leg, basically. Plastic Burgess, Burgess. <laughs> you shot your own self, Kane. I saw a Herman Kane bumper sticker online. It wasn't a real one. It was just said, "You want a job, right? You know what you got to do." <laughs> <laughs> he didn't offer no jobs to no men. I didn't hear him helping any men out. <laughs> but anyway, that's what we got, man. That's what we get when we do politics, man, when, when we do it. And that's all we got for today. That's all we got for today. But check this out. Thank you for enjoying the show. We enjoyed that you enjoyed the show. You know, <laughs> God bless. Take care and click that like button. Have a good day. Yeah.